What's up, everybody? Walden D. Dude here, bringing you some Battlefield 1942 keybind action today. Uh, today, I'm going to walk you guys through the keybinds that I use for infantry, vehicles, and air, and not just what I use, but why I use them as well. And then, once I'm done with that, I'm going to show you what uh, the resolutions that I use to play at that um, you can use to uh, throw up in a widescreen uh, view to make it look a little bit prettier on the old YouTubes. Also, before we get started, um, the I do use the battlefield from Origin. I don't use anything else. It's just the easiest way. I do have like my battlefield CDs technically, but what a pain in the ass. Um, I think it was like 18 billion CDs. Uh, okay, so we get started. This is right where, if you open up your game, this is where it opens up. As you can see here, I have multiple profiles. I think my keybinds are currently saved under this custom profile, so we'll use that one. Um, you can change around to whatever you like. So you're going to go multiplayer internet, that's where you show your games are at. Um, I shall stop by this first. So the best way to find players is you basically just hit this player tab twice. That organizes all the players up here at the top. You get to refresh and see who's there. Um, update will actually update a list of all the main servers. And then I believe refresh is just the servers that are currently listed that have been updated. Update will find new servers. Uh, refresh just refreshes the servers that are currently found. Um, to do the actual controls themselves, options, controls. Okay, so this is what I loved about this game. Actually, I think, I don't know if BF3 ever added it in or not. Anyway, so you've got a common infantry, air, land, and sea. So the most important part over here, you have a general sensitivity, which I believe will affect all your sensitivities. You usually just leave this one alone. Um, the first big one right here that I use is parachute. I usually change this to something that's easier to hit. Usually Q, E, whatever. I think a default is 9, which is ridiculous. You often want to use um, planes, whatever, as um, as transports. But either way, I mean, even if you're going down, you want to be able to bail out and hit your parachute key. Um, depending on the speed and well velocity that you leave your vehicle, um, you can pull your parachute sometimes very quickly to the ground. Um, if you bail out at a very, I'm trying to think what to put this. If you're going both very, if you're moving forward very quickly um, and you bail out close to the ground, that may not give you the option to pull your parachute quickly. But if you bail out and you're coming downwards, uh, I suppose up to down as opposed to left to right, you know, oftentimes you can pull your parachute very, very quickly to the ground right before you hit it. Nothing like doing some halo jumps. The other important thing here is you can see I have all of my, uh, these are all your cams. These are all inside rear, chase rear, chase front, flyby. The two most important cams, in my opinion, are probably inside and flyby. Uh, some of these other ones can give you a good view of usually your tank um, if somebody's right next to it. So uh, I think the other one that I use a lot is, I think it's chase rear. Page over, um, toggle camera view. I don't usually use that one. That goes between all of them. Uh, tool tips, I think I turn those off and then I never bring them back on again. Uh, option auto vote, that's about it. Um, the last one, uh, where is the to show map in? That is your mini map in the upper right hand corner. If you hit N twice at the very beginning of the map, that will zoom out and allow you to see typically all the flags on the map, which is very helpful. By default, you start zoomed in, kind of frustrating. Infantry, infantry, so this is when you're on foot. It gives you a different sensitivity setting for your mouse. Excellent. Um, walk, <laughs> I don't know why you would ever want to walk. By default, you run. There's no sprint in this game. This is kind of before sprinting. Um, drop and pick up kit. You want a key that allows you to pick up somebody's kit very quickly. Um, obviously, reload. I mean, I mean, that's about it. I think I have a uh, crouch. I have that on left shift because that's just easier for me. Prone by default Z. Air. Okay, air. Air, this is the first one where I start getting uh, a lot. Or I start, uh, I don't know, specializing, I guess, in the keybinds. Okay, so the mouse sensitivity is really up to you. Um, and to be honest, at this point in the game, it may not even matter a whole lot. Uh, you've got a lot of different planes that function very differently from one another. Uh, some of them, like on one end of the spectrum, you've got, say, like that uh, B 
big ass whatever the B-52 bomber or whatever the hell it is. It's a slow, cumbersome, huge ass bombing plane, right? Then you have something like the Mustang, which handles very, very fast, has this excellent handling. So if you crank up your mouse sensitivity too high, a plane like that's going to be harder to handle. Something like a BF-109 doesn't have the handling of the Mustang necessarily, but it has the tendency, has the ability to gain altitude that much easier. So a lot of the pro pilots actually prefer the 109. But um, anyway, my mouse sensitivity is usually, anyway, it's just whatever feels good for you. I'd play around with it, going to single player games, messing around with that. Keyboard sensitivity, as far as I know, I was never a pro pilot, but as far as I know, keyboard sensitivity is usually all the way up. That is going to make you accelerate that much faster, taking off in the air, whatever. Um, some of the cool things that you can do with your uh, your plane, come down here to roll left and roll right. The easiest way to make the best use of these features, I did them the exact same way in Battlefield Vietnam. It's so nice. Uh, roll left, uh, if you hit left shift, and then roll right is space. So it is so easy to barrel roll with your plane. It's intuitive because you've got the left button is roll left. You've got space, which is on the right, rolling right. Awesome. Um, I don't think there's anything else. It's just positions. All those key binds you said earlier over in common, they apply to every, every one of the uh, vehicles you're in, whether it's air, land, or sea. Land and sea, this mainly applies, well, to land. Um, the whole naval thing in a game, in my opinion, just, I mean, it was, was kind of cool. It was a cool idea doesn't really work out well except for one or two of the maps which in my opinion aren't a lot of fun to play anyway um, mouse sensitivity this one basically controls your turret speed um, it's just personal preference mine as you can see is not as high as it is in the air uh, but once again keyboard sensitivity all the way up as fast as it can go there is never any time where you do not want to be accelerating as fast as possible out of any given situation um, it's you always want to be going as fast as possible um, the faster you, the more you go up this, the faster you can spin that turret around. The turrets move independently of the tank, so unlike some of the tanks, I think in later battlefield games where you have to like move the tank in the same position as a turret, which is really frustrating. That was why they did in Saints Row 3. Anyway, you can be moving forward, um, turrets facing backwards, whatever you want to do. Um, one of the common um, common ways of actually speed boosting or something like that is uh you know, as you're going up a steep hill, you can turn your turret backwards and shoot fire off around, and it actually will boost you up that hill. It's kind of an interesting way to get up to a few different areas that otherwise you can't get up to. Uh, usually only used like in match play, not really necessary in pubs. Um, same thing, all those default views are used here. I don't think there's anything else that's too crucial to talk about. Uh, all just general positions. You still got all those key binds. Same deal. Um, I think that the chase rear is usually one of the most valuable ways to drive or to peek around in your tank. Um, you definitely want to be spinning that turret around as fast as possible, especially when taking flags. You almost always want to be moving. Engineers are extremely deadly. They will often suicide uh, jihad your your tank because it's one of the fastest ways to kill a tank. So, especially in like some of these servers have these low respawn times, very very deadly. So you got to be aware of your surroundings at all times. Uh, let's see, customize. So some of the cool things down here, I take the tooltips off right off the bat. I leave the radio tooltips on just because I don't know why. Um, static minimap, I don't know how you would play this game with a dynamic minimap. The reason why you want a static minimap is because it gives you an easy way to tell north, east, south, and west. So a dynamic minimap is rolling around all the time. So unless you have your points enabled, nobody's going to know of any fucking clue what you're talking about. Um, it's just a, it's easier to play. I mean, people ask me all the time, why do you not use a dynamic map on later games like Saints Row or whatever? It's because I played Battlefield, and the fastest way to call out points is north, south, east, west. You know, point two north, whatever northernmost point. North, south, east, west are the same on any given fucking mini map, and as long as the map doesn't move, it's the easiest way to call things out. Transparency. I usually crank this up, not necessarily all the way. I like to have a little bit of visibility. Um. That lets the background fade away so that you basically just see those points. It allows you to see more of the map, more of your surroundings at the time. Crosshairs, you can play around with these and uh, do whatever you want to do. Uh, pink is just something that was kind of goofy. It shows up. It's highly visible. You'll never miss it. It's an easy way to see it at all times. 
video. Uh, so the highest resolution that you can possibly play this game at, as you'll know, is somewhat old, um, is 1280 by 960 by 32 at 60, uh, what is that, is that a refresh rate? Um, I guess so. Um, so you've got another one down here, 12, 1280, 960 by 16. This is as fast as you can go. Um, over here, if you really want to be like uber competitive, you can take off like light maps and shadows, and that way you reveal, you're able to see players more often. Doesn't really matter a whole lot. Alternative spawn interface, I don't even know what that does. Um, View distance, obviously you want cranked up as high as possible, effects, graphics, everyone should have a computer that's capable of running this game fairly high. Oftentimes servers will run this game differently. Uh, some of the servers I've seen out there are running at like half the FPS because there's so many people that are playing, so the server's actually going to be intensive, but everyone's computer should be able to handle it. Anyway, that is basically it. That is the uh, ins and outs of the keybinds. If you guys enjoy this, this is something that I would have coveted back in the day. It may not seem like a huge deal now, but uh, I don't know. Things are very competitive. I would have uh, never shared my keybinds in a million fucking years with somebody. So, uh, any questions? Uh, let me know, and I'll do my best to answer those in the comments.